Hey there, interwebs, and welcome back to How Fascinating. Simple question, how many of these animals have horns? You may think all six, but that's false. As a former professor of mine was one to say, that's quite false. So let's just go through them one at a time. First up, we have a deer, specifically a white-tailed deer, Pennsylvania's official state roadkill. A male deer is known as a stag, and sometimes you'll see a knife marketed with a stag horn handle, but that's a lie. Stags don't have horns, they have antlers. The difference is that antlers are made exclusively of bones and are shed and regrown seasonally, whereas true horns are permanent structures comprised of a bony protrusion from the skull covered in an outer sheath of keratin. Deer and other antlered animals only have the bony bit. How about the rhinoceros, then? Does it have a horn? Its name literally means nose horn, but that's not technically correct. Horns are bone on the inside, keratin on the outside, and while deer only have the bone, the rhino's nasal adornment only has the keratin, the same material that your hair and fingernails are made of. That's right, those holistic oriental dick pills that cost their weight in gold are biologically identical to my filthy toenail trimmings. So that's the rhinoceros eliminated, but what about the rhinoceros beetle? Given that they're insects with neither bones nor hair, the chances of them having a structure made of the two are pretty damn slim. Only the males have the horns, which are actually protrusions from their exoskeleton and made from the same chitin. Their cousins, the stag beetles, also have chitinous horn-like protrusions, but theirs are actually modified mouth parts. Humorously, stag beetles and heraldry were sometimes given the antlers of actual stags, but as we've already established, those aren't true horns either. Next up, we have the narwhal. Its binomial name, Monodon monoceros, means one tooth, one horn, and it's half right, but not about the horn, or even necessarily the one. The narwhal's prominent tusk is actually a modified extended tooth. All males grow at least one, with about one in 500 growing a second tusk as well. Roughly 15% of female narwhals also grow tusks, but theirs tend to be smaller, and there's only one case in known history of a female growing two tusks. I'll be honest, I considered adding the unicorn to this list as yet another non-horned animal, since it's originally based on the rhino and its horn came to be styled after the narwhal's tusk, but I couldn't do it on those grounds alone. Since it's fictitious, we can't say for certain what its horn may be. I could have argued that it's not an animal with a horn because it's not an animal, not a real one anyway, but that felt like a dick move. What about the giraffe, then? Those head knobs look like horns, but they're actually ossicones. Rather than being made of bone, their core is ossified cartilage, and they remain covered in skin and fur, not hardened keratin. At this point, you may suspect that none of the animals on screen have horns, which is fair, but you'd be wrong. The horny toad, hehe, <laughs> isn't really a toad, but it does have real horns. Looking at the horned lizard skull, you can clearly see the bony cores, and their outer covering is a hard keratin sheath. We have a winner! One last animal I want to mention before calling this video to a close is the horned screamer. These things are just too weird not to. They're birds with horns. If the narwhal is the unicorn of the sea, these weirdos are the unicorn of the South American jungle. As the name implies, they have horns and they scream. The horns are actually cornified cranial projections made from cartilage not firmly attached to the skull, so they have a tendency to bounce around and snap off at the tip if they get too long. They also have spurs on their wings, and these are fused carpal bones covered in a layer of keratin. If horns don't have to be on the head, that makes these spurs the true horns of the horned screamer. D&D has a monster called an Irthak, which order the stick described as a sonic reptilian unicorn. Considering that birds are reptiles' closest relatives, horned screamers are basically sonic reptilian unicorns, and earthaks are literally horned screamers. Thanks for watching, and have a fascinating day.